Look at the size of this guy. He's got some giant tires on. We should always use more giant tires. Hey guys, Seth and here, back for a little more Terra Tech. Just want to say thank you guys for subscribing and leaving comments. I appreciate that so much. This past week we had Glenn Earl, Red Warrior 69, Ollie Ollie, Cryptologic, Jordan Betts, and Eric Canford subscribe. And we also had some great comments from Red Rim, Steonix, and Justin Arthur asked for me to use hovers on the Star Destroyer. So I will go back and try out some hover technology on that vehicle at some point. And we had Buzz Place, who had some notes on improving some of the factories. And Everts, Rosenbaums, uh, thank you so much for your compliments. And another comment from Supa. So thanks guys so much for watching the videos and giving your thumbs up. I just want to put a little plug out here for uh, one of our subscribers. is Zero Gravitas. And you can see him here on the front screen of TerraTech. He got a video that was posted on the front screen here, which is pretty awesome. Congratulations on that, Zero Gravitas. He's a great guy, he does a lot of work on the forum, so he's got a competition out right now. So I'll put a link to his channel below. Be sure to pay him a visit if you haven't been there already. All right, so patch 0.7.8 came out, the latest update in Terra Tech. So let's take a look at our factories and see how things survived or if they survived. Uh, let's see what's going on here. It's been a few days since I've been in the factory mode here, just checking things out. I started building some things out in R&D because it's a little bit, a little bit laggy. Let's see what we've got. So things seem to be producing okay. I don't see any major structural, structural collapses or anything, anything like that. Things look all right. So we didn't lose any bases or vehicles as far as I can tell. Yeah, we still got two of those guys. We got this little guy for picker upper type thing. Uh, looks like we're doing okay, actually. Not too bad. I don't think we lost anything that I can see. These devices that I really could use. What is that black? What is this? The... Did 7.8 include... Uh, unknown block. Uh, okay, I don't think these are supposed to be in there. Maybe that's a bug, I guess. Pacemaker. Or does that mean I have to discover them? Are they now in the game, actually? Let's take a look. Yeah, look at this, guys. The pacemaker is in the game. Okay, I've got to do a lot of work to try to find some of these new blocks. Look at all these new blocks we've got coming in here as well. So I've got to do a bunch of missions. Oh my gosh, we've got so many new blocks released. <laughs> okay, so we got a whole bunch, probably from every single one. We got the big uh, SCU for the Hawkeye, as well as a Hawkeye delivery cannon, which would be awesome to check out. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a bunch of missions and see if we can't uh, collect all that. Might as well see one punch in action here. So far, he's been doing really good, except he's stuck on a brick or something here. Here we go. Take this, buddy. Not gonna last very long against what? Oh, he didn't even last. <laughs> All right, I made it back to base here, and my one of these little guys is just kind of chilling out. This guy's just eh, taking a nap. He turned in early tonight. He said, I'm not working the night shift. I'm not feeling so good, so I'm just gonna lie here. <laughs> what would cause that? All right, let's rightify himself. There you go, okay. This guy's pretty much just like random bunch of pieces just so that I had some sort of magnet guy. I've definitely got some plans to make something a little bit better for magnet type stuff, but we'll see how it goes. No, uh, no venture pieces in, and of course none of these. I didn't have any of those come in. The only ones I got were the Hawkeye ones, which is, hmm. So I got the SCU, the big SCU, which is great. This Hawkeye, a massive SCU. And is it expensive to make? I'm guessing it's expensive to make. Not too bad, I guess, but expensive enough. And we should have the cannon as well, the deploy cannon. Okay, Hawkeye delivery cannon is going in. You're gonna go out. 
he had a little light on him, but let's see if this works or what it works. Oh, it looks like you have to go to the middle. Uh huh. Now we begin the rotation. Oh, oh, we had it. There we go. Let's try this. Okay, let's sell something. Three. Let's see. Let's see how this looks very cool though, that's for sure. One. One. Two. Three. Oh, it kinda. Maybe it'll go faster. It looks like it kinda has a place to store them before they even sell. So that's kinda cool. Maybe? I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. Okay, I've got to do more missions yet. More and more missions. We're never, oh, uh, I'm getting a little dizzy. <laughs> There's never enough missions. Okay, I'll go complete some more missions then, BRBs. All right, here we're gonna go do, what we're gonna do is take on this big guy. He looks like he's built for a war or something. Whoops, I missed him. My first big shot, just kind of missed him. Look at the size of this guy. He's got some giant tires on. Oh, let's use more giant tires. I think we're getting through his shields pretty quick. Maybe. Just doing a tactical kind of retreat just in case things get really bad. Oh, he's got quite a few cannons on top there. I think maybe it looked worse than he actually was. We're definitely taking some damage, but not terrible amounts. I need to bring him back to the wards the base area. That's right, you just come follow me, buddy. Just follow me and keep, yeah, you're winning the fight. That's right, you're winning. Yeah, look at that trail of mess we're leaving here. <laughs> Somebody go back and clean that up. Okay, buddy. That's right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Come on, come on. You can get me, you can get me, psych. You can't get me, too bad. <laughs> Whoa! All right, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh boy, that's a big mess. Hey guys, I'm back finally. I was spending a long time trying to get everything unlocked here, and we finally did it, I think. So let's take a look. Here we got our bumpers. That's great. Got some bumpers. Half quarter blocks, half block is super awesome. Also got some of those behemoth wheels finally, which is great. And then also, oh, I'm still missing the venture pinwheel prop. Okay, so one more thing to unlock yet, but probably won't be able to do that today. Just running out of time. Way too many things that we needed to, to get. So. Let's see, I did pick up a number of pieces though, which is great. So let's take a look in the wheels here. Cause I have, look at this, trailer, trailer wheel small. Is it actually that small? Oh, I thought it was bigger than that. It looked like a bigger. And then we've got this other kind of wheel. We should just make something with a bunch of wheels on it. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. So we've got a bumper wheel. Oh, that's a pretty good size. I like that. And then we've got the Muddy Dog. Oh, look at the size of this one. <laughs> guy, Muddy Dog. Look at the size of that guy. Wow. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And we saw the tracks already. Then look at this. A right dune wheel. Oh, it's got a little fender on it. I was just trying to read the description. Look at that! Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. And we've got a bunch of these. Too many wheels! Look how many wheels there are! There's just wheels everywhere! Look at that. Lots of variety of wheels now. we got some giant ones as well. That's pretty awesome. I really want to see this behemoth wheel in action. Look at the size of this one. Oh my gosh. This is the size of the entire vehicle. Look at... <laughs> oh my gosh, look how big this one is! Just put it right on there! <laughs> That is insane. That is quite, quite the wheel on top of there. It, my little guy here. So One Punch got a lot of damage from trying to capture one of these vehicles that had these giant tires on them. I'm just going to pull one of these guys off. See, 
If it doesn't look okay with a rule you didn't fit. It does not... What is going on? <laughs> okay, let's try one more on this. This is insane. Look at this. Look at this tire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Boom. Look at this. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a pretty awesome. Okay, uh, none of these tires are touching the ground anymore at all. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay. If that's the case, can we just can we move this guy up so that his entire thing is on the on the on the tire? He still has to go up one more. Wow, these guys are going to be super hard to place. It's hard to see where they would go. Yeah, I just want you to go up one level. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> no, he's down. Oh man, these guys are going to be super hard to to place on. Um, because what they should do is make the tire invisible or semi-transparent when you're trying to put these on, so that you can just see exactly there. See, that's what I was trying to do, but that didn't work either. Okay, that's. <laughs> This is like some sort of... Oh yeah, let's zerp this guy away. Zerp. Okay, this is some sort of road warrior. <laughs> this is completely impractical, but very awesome looking. Like he's just gonna be <laughs> shooting into the... Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, eh? Oh. Can he still anchor? Yeah, he can't anchor anymore. I think because the tires... What if I put a block? We're just experimenting here. What if we put a block down here, and then move this guy down here? Will that let him anchor? No. Some people said in build mode it's easier to anchor, but sometimes it still doesn't quite work. So anchoring is a bit of a problem. Can right, gonna get through the door. Oh, <laughs> the door is too <laughs> The door is too small. I think this would be pretty awesome. Um, I was thinking if you could have those angle blocks. Half block. I was thinking, what if you could have half corner block? Oh, why are you rolling away? Don't roll away. Can you just put on the brakes? Is there a brake key? I need a key that just allows you to put on brakes. I was thinking, well, what if you had something like this and then you could put the guns? Ah! Oh, you can't place anything on that side. Why Why can't you do that? Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping you could... It would have been kind of cool if you could have placed some angle blocks. I was thinking if you could point the guns straight out, then at least they could still shoot. Because I think right now, if they shoot, they're just going to shoot the ground. <laughs> Those behemoth wheels are pretty cool, though. But I guess you can't... I don't know. I was hoping to do something like this. I guess... I, like the cannons, I guess as long as you had everything side mountain, mounted, so mounted on the sides, they could probably shoot no problem. But anything that's mounted on the top like this is not going to be super great at all, I don't think. So you could maybe focus on trying to get something where everything has just been side mounted. I like just how he points down like that. It's just kind of cool. It's like just the Mad Max Road Warrior type of type of guy. <laughs> Alright, I am just... I just wanted to see. So I just... This guy is not finished. He is... Oh, he can't get through that door either. Hmm. Can we get through the... Is there a door we can get through? Here? I just wanted to see if I could put these big cannons... <laughs> He's just running over stuff. I just wanted to see if these cannons would work on the sides. As they're pointing down, I thought it'd be kind of cool, but I also wanted to add a few more fuel tanks. Because some of the workers were complaining that uh, we're running out of fuel too when we try to do too much jetting, so... I want to make sure the workers were happy. Let's just try it. I put on a Havoc shield too. And unless he's in target range... Let's go see if we can't get to this 
So he's just skipping around this little guy. Can we hit him? There we go, look at that. Oh, that actually works pretty good. Ah, so the cannons will tilt up, which makes sense, they should. I don't know, I think that guy's like a flying guy or something. Let's try on somebody with a little more firepower. Let's see if this works. The only problem... Looks like the only problem with this design is you can't get that first attack. Uh, you have to basically wait for him to get picked up and locked on. So, not too bad. I like the giant tires. Uh, not sure if I'll take this design any further because it's a little bit odd. I like the shape of it better, but then I had to build it higher to put the cannons on. So I don't know. We'll come back that to that another day. We'll definitely work more with the behemoth tires now that we have them. And I think everything is pretty awesome. So thanks so much, guys, for coming to hang out with me today. We'll see you again next time with some more Terra Attack. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.